Shane Carter Fry on TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbauer. We're at the press conference day for WBO world champion Andy Lee versus Billy Joe Saunders in Limerick. With me I've got promoter Frank Warren. What's happening Frank? Um, we've just done the uh, presser for Billy Joe. Yeah. Uh, who's challenging Andy Lee for the world title in Limerick on the 19th of September um, at the Munster home, uh, Rugby Stadium. I've got to say, fantastic fight. There's so many subplots with this fight. Obviously, Billy Joe and Andy Lee both going to the Olympics. Andy Lee being the first traveller to win a world title. Billy Joe, a traveller, two of them contesting the world championship. There's so many little twists and plots in this. It's a fantastic fight, really. Yeah, well, I mean, they're two very, very um, able and capable boxers, both at the top of their game. Um, you know, Andy is a, is, he's a tremendous puncher, there's no doubt about that, and he's been behind in a couple of fights, winning the world title, and and, uh, and the fight before that, you know, behind on points and just managed to clip them and take them out of the game. What's that? That sounds like a beast, doesn't it? You got your motor here, Frank, or what? Yeah, I've got my motor. They're motorbike, they're just picking me up, sidecar. <laughs> um, yeah. um, so, you know he can punch and he's he, he can do, you know that's and he's uh, you know he's not bad boxer either and you've got Bill who's won the British Commonwealth European title pulled his weight in the mandatory slot he's no slouch he can punch himself he's, he's this won't be the first fight that he's gone in as non-favorite he did the same against Jared Fletcher who was uh, undefeated at the but time. People forget that to be honest. They he do, and he'd done a job on him and Jared went on to do some good things yeah, and uh, yeah. you know bit, when bit, I think Bill's one of those guys that when, when uh, you know the tougher the fight the more the challenge the better you get out of him and he's got he's not phased about going into Ireland and I'm not either you know I'm, I'm, I do like getting home advantage for fight, fighters that I'm involved with. however you know I don't see it so much as going to the other guy's backyard I see it as you know, with the Irish, that they're such great sporting fans, and they're very appreciative of, you know, uh, guys who go and give a good account of themselves. So I don't think it's going to be a hostile. I think they're obviously be rooting for their man, but I think at the end of the day, you know, Bill will win them over with his skills. I mean, it was very respectful today, and I think that's just because of the the level behind the scenes of respect that these guys have got for each other and their own communities. Well, so that, I don't think either, either one of them wanted to make well, the other you know, one off. Very nice guys, and you know, and Andy, Andy's a gentleman, and Bill's the same. And at the end of the day, you, you know, a game with the two of them, it's, uh, it's, you know, the bragging rights within that community, or you know, who's going to be the number one. So there's a lot, of, lot of state, and it is. I mean, there's a lot of world title fights going on in the UK at the moment, but this is actually is a. I mean, they're all proper, but this is a proper, proper. Well, I think the title. mandatory status, I think it really does add to that because it it's not a fight that you no. lot have agreed to make. It's and a, it's, it needs you know, to take place. And you know, all that, you know, it's an Irishman and a Brit, so it's uh, it's got all the ingredients there of a good, good quality fight, and I think it will be. I think, I, I think the fans are in for a treat. I had the pleasure of covering Andy Lee versus Matt Vaykorov for Box Nation Night yeah. on TV. We've seen Andy Lee, as you say, be in fights, just sort of. Not losing the rounds, he's in the fights, but he carries that power. He can always yeah. equalise a fight. Is that something you think yourself it, and Billy it, and the it, team it are a bit worried I mean, about? I mean, listen, you, you always look for strengths and weaknesses of any fighters, but you know, like you know, because when we made the fight, I said to Bill, I said, if boxing was all about who punched harder, you wouldn't need judges. And at the end of the day, most fights are end by decision, and, and Bill's capable of ending a fight with a punch himself. Yeah. But you know, Bill's a good, Bill's an extremely good boxer. Um, and you know, no one wants to be having to depend on pulling one out of the bag to win a fight. It's a tough position to be in. And good fighters have done it over the years. But having said that, you know, Bill's got a good chin as well. Do you favour your man to win the world title coming in? I into fancy this? him. Of course I do. I fancy him. he's made him slight underdog. Uh, listen, I've got the utmost respect for Andy Lee. I think, you know, the last 12 months, I think he's fighter of the year. Every fight he's gone into, he's been an underdog. And he's come back. Or retain, you know, retain the situation, retain his belt and come back. Bet you think about it, and mm -hmm. I think that that's something. Having said that, Bill's last five or six fights um, have all been undefeated fighters, and he's beat all of them. And I can't think of too many boxers in the world today, the world of boxing, who fought undefeated fighters consecutively as much as he has. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw him how good he looked against Chris Eubank Jr. I'd probably go on the record and say that's the best I've seen him look fitness-wise. Do you think now with with ben. with this fight happening? And, he again. He'll turn it on again, and we'll see a fantastic condition, Billy Joe Saunders. Well, he's got to be. I mean, you know, they both bring their A game. They're both going to be at their best. They're going to be physically, and mentally there, um, and the best man will win on the night. Who knows? It might be a very close fight, and 
be a rematch, but one thing for sure, the fans will get entertained. Is there a rematch clause? Can I ask that? Well, it depends, you know, depends what happens, depends how the fight looks, but, mm. you know, I don't think the fact that Adam and myself and um, Andy and uh, Bill, we're all, been, we're all working together on this show, you know, everything's going well at the moment, so if that was going to be the case and the money's right, I'm sure we could go down the road, but that road, but first of all, let's see uh, who's going to win this one. I mean, the undercard, there's been guesses who's going to be on the undercard, there's been a lot of interest. Spiker Sullivan as well, a lot of people have been tweeting, Billy Joe have been tweeting I IFL TV, get Spike on the undercard. Katie Taylor looks to be an option for kind of an exhibition fight. What, what are your thoughts on this? Well, it's, it, you know, it's obviously we're putting together a very a big, a good quality undercard featuring Irish and, Irish and British boxers. And, yes. you know, that, that, that goes without saying, Ed, regarding uh, the young lady, um, I'm not, I'm not a me. I'm not a fan of women's boxing. I appreciate all their, all the hard work, their endeavours, and their, and their passion, and, and the fact they go out and do what they do for their countries and winning, winning. And those who don't win things, you know, the, the commitment they put into it. But I personally don't like. It doesn't do too much for me watching it. I'm not, not, not being a big fan of what actually watching women's boxing. Like some people don't like watching men box. You know, it's, it's a personal thing, and like everybody, I mean, it's like my personal opinion. From your point of view, from your half of the undercard, can we anticipate maybe Liam Walsh, as you said in the presser? Big, no, it's big Liam, Liam, Liam Smith. Do excuse me. So we've got Liam Smith. Is that confirmed? Uh, it will be. Okay. Okay. Any any other ideas? Who are you going to put on? Uh, not sure yet. We're working on it. I said we've got a fantastic card this Friday as well. Derek Chisora returning into action. The Enigma. Yeah. Looking yeah. forward to seeing yeah, him back yeah, in action. Yeah. We'll see how he looks. He's changed trainers and. Uh, he mentally seems to be uh, okay, and physically he's worked very hard, so we'll see him on Friday, you know, uh, how he looks, um, coming off of that bad loss against Tyson Fury. Um, you know, so just a decent little show. It's a shame we lost Shudden on. Killed it a bit, but it is what it is, and we've got to make sure the guys get their work, and uh, we're rescheduling uh, Billy Joe, sorry, rescheduling Bullione. Uh, Frank Bullione and Shudden off for uh, late September. As we know, Billy Joe's on the card as well Friday, so everything has to go really... Well, I, don't, I don't want him to fight, you know. Part in the mouth business, isn't it, but, really? But the, having said that, you know, his last fight was in November. All the messing around whether he was going to fight Eubanks or not uh, caused him not to, to be inactive. Mm -hmm. And what we can't do from our point of view is uh, afford for him to not go into the ring fully mentally and physically prepared. And he needs, he needs a, a run out. All right, well, listen, I'm looking forward to a cracking card on Friday. Said, I think this fight sells itself, and uh, I look forward to seeing the media and the build-up as in due course. So do I. All, Top man, all thank you, stuff. Frank. Thanks, young man.